So observe here, I mean, exercise 1.6, the first line is given as round up the following numbers from nearest tens. Nearest tens. So the first one is so A, B, C, and D, E, F also given. D, E, F left here. They have to be as combo. Then coming to the solution of A, 23. Round up to nearest 10. So 23 in between 2 tens. What goes 20 and 30? 23 is in between 20 and 30. What is the midway? That means halfway to 20 and 30 is 25. Is halfway. Now observe 23 is 23 will be in the part of less than less than halfway or more than halfway. Clearly 23 is less than 25. That means it will be in the part of less than half. So less than halfway means we have to round up the given number to previous step. That means to 20. Next 36. 36 in between two tens. What are those in between 30 and 40? Halfway to 30 and 40 is 45. Now observe 36. Halfway to 30 and 40 is 35. Now observe 36. 36 will become in the part of more than half. It will come. More than halfway means we have to round up the given number to next step. That means 40. 49. Third one. 49 is in between 2 tens. What are those in between 40 and 50? Halfway. 45. The given number is 49. It will be in the part of more than half. More than halfway means we have to round up the given number to next 10. Next 10 here is 50. That's all. So remaining 3 I have to do homework. Next second line. Second line. Second line asking here, round up the following numbers to nearest hundreds this time. So first line is nearest 10. What are the hundreds, the hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred? Are the hundreds? So first main. Here also A, B, C, L explain. Second main. D, E, F. Left to take. So you have to do as combo. Coming to the solution part of first one. Three hundred and five. Three hundred and five is in between two hundred. What are those? In between 300 and in between 300 and 400. Midway, that means halfway is 350. Now 305, it will be. That means it is in the less than less than halfway part. Less than halfway part means we have to round down the given number to before 100. That means 300. Next, 457 is in between. 200. What are those in between 400 and 500? Halfway. 450 is the half. Then 457. That means it is in the part of more than halfway. More than halfway means we have to round up that number to next 100. That means 500. Next 345. It is in between. 200. What are those with 300 and 400? Halfway is 350. So clearly 345 is in the part of less than halfway. Less than halfway means we have to round up that number to 400. That means 300. Next step. Third one. In third main, asking us to round up the following numbers to nearest thousands. What are thousands? 1000, 
thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. These are the thousands. Coming to the solution, here also A, B, C are explained, and in third main also B, E, F. You have to do homework. The first one. Four thousand three hundred and fifty. In between four thousand and five thousand. Midway or halfway. Four thousand five hundred. Now compare this. Three thousand four hundred and fifty is less than. That means the less than part. That means the less than halfway part. It will be less than halfway part means we have to round up the given number to be four thousand. Be four thousand is here four thousand. Next seven thousand six hundred and eighty four is in between seven thousand and eight thousand. Halfway seven thousand five. Now compare the given number. Seven thousand six hundred and eighty-four is greater than seven thousand five hundred, so it will be in the more than half part. It will be more than half part. More than halfway part means we have to round up the given number to next thousand. Next thousand here is three thousand. So if we round it up, seven thousand six hundred and eighty-four to next next to thousand, then We have to tell that one as eight thousand. Next, five thousand nine hundred and twenty-five. Easy between two thousand. What are those six thousand and five thousand and six thousand? Halfway, five thousand five. Compare halfway to the given number. Five thousand nine hundred twenty-five. Clearly greater than five thousand five hundred. So. It will be more than half a part. Now around here, more than half a part. More than half a part means we have to round up to that given number to next thousand. Next thousand here is six thousand. So this is the process of rounding up number or estimation to nearest tens, nearest hundreds, and nearest thousand. And next one more is there, the fourth one. I will explain that one also. We have to do fourth one. The fourth one. The question is uh, complete the number sequence in the diagram below. So some number sequence is uh, given here. We have to complete some missing numbers here in this diagram to show rounding up number. To the nearest hundred. So very easily you can do this one. Just uh, observe the figure four hundred. What is next? Four ten, four twenty, four thirty, four hundred thirty, four hundred forty, five hundred and five, five hundred, four hundred and four hundred and fifty, four hundred and sixty, four hundred seventy, four hundred eighty, four hundred ninety, five hundred, five hundred and ten, five hundred and twenty, five hundred and thirty, five hundred and forty. Five hundred and fifty. Next, what will come? Five hundred and fifty. And next, these are all you have to fill. Observe this in the same sequence. You have to fill this. Six hundred. So this part you have to fill. Six fifty. And again, next, here also this part you have. To So easy only, I think so. You can do very easily. Any doubt, you may ask us through WhatsApp. Hope you understood today's class. Have a good day. So next, uh, one more thing. So this is the end of exercise one point six on rounding up numbers or estimation in uh, more and more. So one more topic left in this chapter that is Roman numbers. So we will complete in next class. So have a good day.